Hey everyone, today we're going to be going over the setup required to interact with and write our first program to an Arduino Nano ESP32 using Mac OS. Now if you aren't familiar with this board, this is a very popular microcontroller that allows us to add both Wi-Fi and Bluetooth connectivity to our electronic projects. I have a number of tutorials planned for the future, but right now we're going to get started with step number one. So let's take a quick look at the game plan. First, this tutorial is focused around getting set up on a Mac OS, so you'll want to grab your MacBook, iMac, MacBook Air, whatever you have will work. We're going to take a USB-C to USB-C cable and connect it to our Arduino Nano, verify signs of life, and check that we haven't received a board with any manufacturing defects. We'll download the Arduino IDE, the integrated development environment, and install it onto our Mac. Finally, we'll connect the Arduino IDE to our Nano ESP32 board, install our first program, and the end result will be one of the first tests you should always execute when setting up a brand new board, blinking an LED. Let's jump on over to the desk here and start getting set up. Here in front of us, I have my MacBook Pro and the USB-C cable ready to go, so let's get the Arduino itself opened up. And we can see that we're met with the device itself inserted into a piece of foam, as well as stickers and a bit of documentation. So step one is verifying that this powers on and boots up. So let's plug this into the USB-C cable and make sure that the expected LEDs light up. Now on the top right, we see that we have a green LED illuminating, indicating that the board is receiving good power as well as the RGB LED towards the center near the reset button is cycling between each one of its colors. So to me, this confirms that the board is at least able to power, boot, and run the default sketch loaded from the factory. So let's jump over to the laptop and get our software set up. I'm here on my Mac's desktop, and we'll start by opening up a web browser and searching for the Arduino IDE. The top result will take you to Arduino's web page for the downloads. And we'll find that for the Mac OS, we're met with two different options, the Intel and the Apple Silicon. So to figure out what you're running on your machine, you can click the Apple logo in the top left, followed by About This Mac. And if you see an Intel Core processor listed, you know which download to use. And otherwise, you might see something like Apple M1, Apple M2 Pro, indicating that you're going to want the Apple Silicon download. So for my case, I'll go ahead and download the Intel version. And we'll watch that pop up in our downloads here. And we can go ahead and then open up our downloads folder and selecting the DMG itself. To install, simply click and drag the Arduino IDE into your applications folder, and you can then close and eject the mounted installer. We'll go ahead and eject the installer, and we'll go to our applications and click Arduino IDE to be start the app. So we downloaded this from the internet. Yes, we'd like to open it. Now the IDE will begin downloading various plugins and support packages in the output window, so you can go ahead and let that complete. So now that the installs in the output window have completed, what we can go ahead and do is go up to the top drop down here to select our board, the Arduino Nano ESP32. We'll find that we're prompted with a request to install an additional library. We wish to install it now, and we'll go ahead and click yes there. And this package will go ahead and download, and this install shouldn't take any more than 10 to 20 seconds. Next, we're going to load our first program, which is going to blink the LED itself. So let's go up here to File, Examples, Basics, and then Blink. And we'll find that the Blink sketch opens up in a new window for us. So here in the Blink sketch, we can see a block comment here describing what this program is designed to do. And scrolling down, we see that we have two functions. We have a setup function and a loop function. Additionally, we have a loop function, which is going to run on repeat for the duration that the board is powered on and running. And we see there's a couple of different things going on in here. So what we're first doing is turning the LED on by writing a value of high to the built-in LED pin. We're asking it to stay on for 1,000 milliseconds by performing a delay. 
And then we're going to turn it off by writing the value of low and then again asking it to stay off for a thousand milliseconds. So let's upload this to the board and see how this works in practice. We'll go up to the top bar of the IDE and select upload. And we'll find that the IDE is compiling our sketch from text source code that humans can read into the machine code which the processor can operate on. We see that the code downloaded to our board and it's now executing that in a loop where the LED is turning on for one second and then turning off for one second. If this is your first time working with Arduinos or programming in general, now would be a great time to start experimenting with how you can change the duration of these values, for example, by changing the delays from one second to two seconds. We can go ahead and re-upload that to our board. And now we see that the LED is staying on for two seconds and then turning off for two seconds. In the future, we'll be diving into greater depth on the capabilities of this Arduino and writing some very cool projects along the way. If you're interested in learning more, be sure to subscribe and look forward to the learning process to come.